The time has come. Bull 1v1 versus every brawler in the game. Plus a lot of crazy tests in between to see what we can do to take him down. Will the giant fall? Let's find out. Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another Brawl Stars video. And today, Bull 1v1 versus every brawler in Brawl Stars. Okay, so here's how we're going to rock this. We're going to do the standard tests first, then we mix it up a bit. After those, we're going to try some other things to see what we can do, what it's going to take to bring down Bull. Will Shelly Super take care of him? How about Nita's bear while she's behind it wailing? Jesse's turret? Colt Super? Carl spinning? Crow jumping? What is it going to take to take down Bull? We're, we're going to find out. And this was actually probably the most interesting 1v1 I've ever done, as well as probably the most intensive editing on these videos. I Seriously, probably like 13, 14 hours editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, we put Bull against himself using the two separate star powers to find out which one is best and which one we should be using moving forward for most of the interactions that will follow. Berserker wins out. There is a couple scenarios where I actually did use um, Tough Guy, but for the most part, we're going to use Berserker for the entirety of this video. Without further ado, let's hop into the three worst brawlers against Bull. Of course, Tick always dies before he does any damage. His day's coming. Actually, his time's coming very, very soon. Dynamite, of course, too. And Piper, this is like the worst possible test for Piper. But what else are you going to do? You're going to put her back at range and Bull can't even hit her? you got to do something. So they all three get waxed. But what happens if Tick uses his super, spams all his shot, Bull still charges back into him? Will he still kill him in time? Oh, well, let's, let's see. Right? What? Tick actually takes Bull down with just a sliver of health left. Now, that result wasn't official. However, it looked pretty cool. Next three brawlers. Of course, Ims is horrible close range. No, no contest. Carl, his shots travel too slow to get back to him. And Poco, well, it's, it's Poco. He doesn't do much damage. But what happens if Carl uses a wall directly behind Bull? That greatly increases his DPS. Let's see. Yeah, still not enough. But how about if Carl uses his super? Yeah, now that's going to get juicy. Ooh, that was really close. 140 hit points left on Bull. Close, real close, Carl, with protective pirouette. You got to have protective pirouette for that to work. How about Poco with his super? I was hoping for better. Poco, that was not sweet sound of music. Next three brawlers. It's going to be a common theme throughout this. They're all going to get completely thrashed. But how about Jessie? If she throws down her super, spams her turret, can Bull get through the spamming of the turret and then kill Jessie as well? Hmm. And stay down. Yeah, he still gets through that as well. Bull is just a beast. He is ridiculously good for this. Next three brawlers. I 
actually thought Leon was going to do better, but man, two shots from Bull and Leon is down. He doesn't even get a chance to do all that damage because his shots do take a little bit of time. So Leon gets smoked. Does worse on this test than he does on most of the other ones. Rico, however, what if you were standing in a really tight corridor and you had super bouncy doing extra damage, unload a super, and then start shooting while Bull is going after you? What happens then? So that's a lot of damage, but it's not enough. How about if Bruce comes out to aid Nita, can Bull get through Bruce with Bear With Me while they're both wailing on him? This one's going to be good. I thought it was going to be better, actually. Next. Three up and three more down. But what happens if Colt uses his super? That's going to seal the deal because that super is vicious. No, not vicious enough. But this next one is actually really interesting because what happens if you take Penny and last blast, put down your super. Can Bull get through that and through Penny? Let's see. Yeah, now that was pretty nuts because after he kills the turret, it shoots all of those shots up. And while he's walking towards Penny, who's just right there, all of those shots just rain down upon him and those double barrel shotgun and takes him down. Penny winning as well. Good job, Penny. Next three challengers step into the ring or the arena or whatever it is. Rosa and Brock are the first ones to break 3,000 damage against Bull, which is really impressive. I, I think, actually, I should have used Incendiary instead of Rocket number 4. I wasn't thinking that Bull, Brock was going to die so fast, but it would have got an extra five or 600, 600 damage. It wouldn't have changed the result. It would have actually changed his placing in this. So Brock got a little cheated there, but he still went down pretty easily. Now, Crow does a lot of damage in the super. If you place him dead center of bull, you use his super to jump up and down, damage going up, damage coming back down. Hmm. Yeah, my boy Crow. Crow may have actually lost in the official test, but by golly, I feel pretty good saying bull, Crow smoked you. Also, Rosa with that super and thorny gloves. just destroyed Bull. Now, she's probably the much safer choice to do this against rather than Crow because one bad shot and you're done with for Crow. But Rosa, really strong against Bull if you have that super. Yeah, they all three go down, but how about Terra with her Black Portal Super? Does the damage, pulls Bull away, he has to go through the Super while it's hitting him and get through Terra, who does a lot of damage at close range. So, let's find out. But she is able to win this. Now, Pam. Pam does a lot of damage. She has two supers that can actually aid in this. Mama's Squeeze and Mama's Hug. Maybe Mama's Hug with the healing is going to do better. Let's check it out. No, no. But secret weapon, Mama's Squeeze. 
A lot of people don't use this super, but it's actually really good. It catches a lot of people off guard. 500 damage per tick. Let's see what that does against Bull. It actually did better than Mama's Hug, better than the healing, so it's actually a pretty solid choice. I've actually been using it quite a bit lately, more for fun, because I think that the other one is probably better, but Mama's Squeeze can be a lot of fun, a lot of different situations. Oof, but maybe BB and her bubble bouncing back and forth will take him out. No, but how about El Fuego? Yeah. No. Our next group has the most extra tests of any of these brawlers. Let's find out how Frank, Shelly, and 8-Bit do. I mean, they did well. They did a lot of damage to Bull. It just, he does so much damage in such a quick amount of time, they couldn't stand up. But Shelly Super. Now, we've all been on the receiving end of Shelly Super, and we know that it's devastating. In a clinical test, we're going to call this clinical, <laughs> is it enough to take down Bull? Let's see. What about Frank Super with both Berserker and Tough Guy with Bull? Both of his star powers. Will either one of them make him last long enough to actually take down Frank? Ah. It was close but Frank wins both of those. Speaking of supers, what about 8-bit super? Yeah, no, no. But I know, extra life. Extra life, that should be the ticket. Maybe not so much. Uh, okay, how about extra life and his super? Extra damage, extra life, extra winning? Yeah, he does finally get the win. I mean, if you first you don't succeed, try, 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 try again. All right, that brings us now to the best two brawlers against Bull. He actually does a pretty darn good job. Seeing the spike has so little hit points, he does over 5,300 damage against Bull before Bull takes him down. That's actually really impressive considering that Spike has just over 3,000 hit points. Now we try to super fertilize, but to be true to the test, you have to stand toe to toe. And by the time he actually throws the super and then starts reloading, he still gets, he actually does worse. So here's what that looks like. Okay, now for the best brawler against Bull. Will he be able to take him down straight up? Daryl. Just got a buff, more hit points, more damage. Let's see what happens. Man, 
on. It was it was so close. Interestingly enough, they both did the exact same amount of damage to each other. However, Bull is able to get off those shots faster than Daryl because Daryl gets the whole one-two punch. Bull has it all in one shot. So Bull actually takes down Daryl, but Daryl with his super and steel hoops. I mean, he's got to win, right? Let's see. Yeah, he does indeed take Bull down and pretty handily at that. So if you have your super as Daryl, it can roll in there with steel hoops. It's not a bad. You can pretty much beat anybody with Daryl and steel hoops. So it's a little little broken, but you know it's it's all good. So that is going to wrap it up for all of the one v one tests against Bull. There's probably a couple that I miss in there, but man, I tried to be pretty comprehensive. You guys, let me know in the comments down below who you would like to see next one v one try to get it done. I'll try to pick out somebody popular. You guys vote your favorite answers as well. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.